and welcome friends to my channel. Uh, this is Do-It-Yourself Diva and today we're going to be making a beautiful Chanel inspired clock. Now what you're going to need for this is a three-quarter inch clock. I get this from Joann's. Some Mod Podge. I get the gloss. Pearl paint from Michaels, foam and plasterboard adhesive by Beacon, you can get this at the Dollar Tree, a, I believe it's 12 inch, okay, it's a nine, the face is nine inches and the body is 11, and this can be gotten at McDonald's. This can be purchased at Michael's as well. A computer image of anything, any of your, anything you would really prefer to use. I just like the Chanel inspired pictures. And then you're going to need a piece of cardstock. I got this at Joann's. You're going to want to get some sandpaper, and if there's any rough edges, sand along it so that it's nice and smooth. Like here, it's just a little rough, so I'm going to take my sandpaper and just go along it till it has a nice smooth edge. Now I've cut piece of them. I've cut out my form already, my template, and what you're going to want to do is I take some sealer first. I go around this and I use like a clear polyurethane because the wood basically drinks this, the paint, and you'll find that you have to use about seven layers if you don't treat this first. And I go around the edge, just the edge, and a little bit here with the pearl. You're probably going to need depending on how heavy you put it on, maybe three to four coats, which is seemingly a lot, but it would be about 10 coats if you didn't put the polyurethane on. And once that's dry, you're gonna coat it with Mod Podge gloss um, finish to seal it in. Now I've already taken these um, and cut them out to save time. So let's get started. Okay, now this has been cut out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue this to the surface. And as you can see, I've already put my paint on. And just a little around the, around just to cover the edge. So we're gonna take our foam and board adhesive. And we're going to go lightly around the edges of the wood. Try to get as close to the edge as possible so that you get a good seal on the edges. And then we're just going to go right along the inside of this just to ensure that we get a good seal. You're going to match this up. Smooth it down. Make sure, making sure that it's even all the way around. You're going to smooth that down. Then you're going to take your cutout figure and basically do the same thing. You're going to go along all the edges to make sure that you get a good seal so that the ends don't lift. Now this stuff works really well. It's for board and poster adhesive, but it works really well on paper products as well. It doesn't tend to bleed through or seep through 
making um, huge wet spots on whatever you're going to be putting it on. Now you want to make sure that this is centered fairly well. I have a cat out there who's getting into things. And you're just going to press that down along the edges. Careful not to get any glue on your finger and touch the picture because it will smear. Or you don't really want to get any of this glue on your fingers at all because it is extremely sticky and it's a pain in the neck to get off. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we want to do is locate the hole in the center for the other side. So what I basically do is I put my finger in the middle and I feel for the divot, which is basically right here. And I'm going to take going to take my exacto knife. And if I can find it, and you're going to want to score through the center, making sure that you go through to the edges. Then I take the middle and I put a little dent in there. And I'm going to take the back of like a pen or something and just poke through so that you have started the inside of where your, sorry about that, the inside of where your inerts are going to go for the clock. It should look like this when you're done. Now you're going to want to open the package and be very careful for the clock assembly. It gives you detailed directions on what to do, but these arms are very delicate, the arms and the sweeping hand. Inside you're going to find your nuts, bolts, the rubber uh, washer that holds it in place, the base, and your numbers. So you're going to break these all off and they are sticky a little bit on the bottom, but not enough for my liking, so I like to put a little glue down on top of them. And when you break them off, you're going to have this little lip on there. And I like to just cut that off with my X-Acto knife. Now it's important that you get your center because that indicates where you're going to put your numbers so that they correctly match when the arms rest on them. So being that this is nine and a quarter, you're going to have your center is four and a half and one eighth. So that would rest right here. And going this way, it's going to be the same thing. So basically, I'm going to put a little, just a little notch there because it's going to be covered up by the base of the clock, the, the little dials and numbers there. And I'm going to do the same thing here, just so can I get an idea of where I want to put my 3, 6, 9, and 12. Okay, so I'm going to start with my 12, and you're going to basically put these around the board just tentatively, just so you can get an idea of where you want these numbers 
to lay, making sure that they're going to match up correctly. All right, what you're going to want to make sure you do is you're going to just take some glue on the back of your on the in between your base in the in the between the base and your clock there. You're going to want to glue that in and then bolt it because if you don't glue it, it's going to spin and spin and spin and this just makes it a little easier. Now, I've already glued the numbers on, but what you want to make sure is using this as your gauge, the, the center piece, you want to make sure that everything meets up with each other. So you're going to go 12 to 6, 3 to 9, you want to make sure they're equal. 11 to 5, 10 to 4, 1 to 7, and 2 to 8. And I, like I said, I glue these down because it's just, I don't like the, um, sometimes the adhesive doesn't last long enough. So then at that point, what you're going to be doing is you're going to take, this has a little ridge on it. I don't know if you can see that. This ridge is going to go first on the clock, on the base, and what you're going to want to do is push that down and you're just going to kind of, until it's, until there's no more play in it. Now you want to make sure that that's on there good. Now you're going to take the larger one. And you're going to put that right on top of that. And then the little nut is going to secure these two in place. You're going to twist that on. Good and tight. You don't want to do that. Make sure that they're matched up well and I just like to cinch it with a pair of pliers. You're going to take the sweeping hand which has it has the little knob on it and right in the center here there's a little knob. You're going to want to put that right in there because that's what helps it go around. You know, you're going to push. Be careful not to push on the arm itself because they're very delicate and they will bend. So there you have it. I'm going to get a battery and we're going to see how this looks. And there we have it. It's finished. If you liked this and any other crafts projects that I have done, please give it a thumbs up, hit your notifications, and um, follow. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.